Hi, this is Katrina with Capture Your 365. Today we are going to look at the develop module in our next video on my Lightroom workflow. I appreciate you joining me and hope you are enjoying the videos. In this video, we're going to dive deeper into the develop module, I'm going to show you a few other tools that I use, and we're going to look at applying presets and um, creating presets. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a photo from a wedding that I photographed earlier this year. And um, this was one of many shots from the day that I really loved. But I want to show you what I started out with. That really could be considered a hot mess. Yeah, not a photo I'm proud to show anyone. Uh, you're probably wondering what I was thinking when I snapped, and, and I'm wondering that myself. Obviously not exposed well. I have blown out all the details of her dress, and um, I could just throw this photo away and move on because there are a lot of other images that I could work with, but, um, I know that I took this in raw, so I can do a little salvaging. First, I want to show you how that I know how I know, other than just visually, that this is blown out. If you go to the histogram right hand side, if you um, show there, it'll show your highlight clipping, and you can easily see where there is no data. If this was a JPEG photo, there would be absolutely no way to fix it. Um, but it was a raw photo, so I know there's still some hope for it. So I'm going to um, work down my basic module just like I did in last week's video, um, but I'm going to skip over white balance for now. I'm skipping white balance because I don't have a lot to work with yet. I want to adjust exposure first. So I'm going to go ahead and click on exposure. That gives me the ability to use my plus or minus keys, and I like the fine tuning of the adjustment there. So if I go to the plus side, that's going to overexpose. I want to go to the minus side. And I'm just going to keep going until I see something that I like. And then I see in the histogram over here, I've moved uh, my data away from that extreme right edge. I'm just going to keep doing that. All right. So there I have something that um, I think is a little bit more workable. I can check to see if I still have any clipping, and I don't. So from there, I'm going to adjust my contrast just to the right a tad bit. I could do that by clicking on contrast and using the plus and minus arrows as well. And then out of habit, I'm going to up the clarity just a couple just a few points and that gives the photo a little bit more depth and and I like um, that depth that's added so those are the basic adjustments I'm going to do this photo still isn't a stellar you know right home to mom about it photo um, but I, I like it a little bit more the thing that really needs to change in this photo that's really annoying me is the crop so I'm going to go ahead and fix that crop. I'm going to press the crop overlay key. I can get that through pressing on that cropped square, or I can press R. And then I am can either work with the original aspect ratio, or I can go in and change it to a square or some other ratio. I'm going to go ahead and work with the original size. And I'm just going to move it some. This is going to change, obviously, the size of my photo and the amount of data in my photo but I can live with that. And I'm just going to move it until I like the crop that I see. And that's going to work for me. But as you look at it, you probably notice something else about it, a little annoying. I have an absolute inability to hold my camera straight. Yep, uh, I can't. I don't know why. So I'm going to use the angle straighten tool. I'm going to come right over here. I'm going to click on one area. And then I'm going to drag it. I'm holding the, my button down, and I'm dragging it right on over across to another spot on, right on this line. And that's going to straighten this out for me. And there we go. I press return, and that's going to give me the image that I like. 
still doesn't, I don't like the way this is looking there, so I'm going to move that over some. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. All right. So this image is a, a salvageable image now. And you can see where I started and where I am now. So definitely, um, definitely an improved image. I've saved it. Um, but I'm still not in love with it. So I'm going to go ahead and D will get me back to my image. And um, now I'm going to apply a preset. Now one of the things that Lightroom 4 has done with the presets that come in Lightroom is they've organized them much better than in previous uh, versions. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the toned presets and I'm going to come right down here to cream tone. Now I'm using the cream tone um, preset because that's the same preset that I've used for the rest of the wedding. I like my images to be consistent over an event. So I'm going to press the cream tone and look what happens. I now have all of that data blown out again. It is ugly, 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 doesn't work very well. So um, I, if you'll notice over here, this is what happened. It bumped my exposure right back to zero from the setting that I had given it. Saturation, negative 100. So you can actually look over here and see what was happening with the preset as you apply it. Now, here's where I get to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to come back to my exposure. I'm going to adjust my exposure to a spot that I like it. I could, again, adjust the clarity just a tad. And this time you can really see what the clarity is doing. And then I could adjust contrast if I want it as well. But I'm going to leave, go ahead and leave that alone because now I'm happy with this image. One other adjustment I'm going to make, I'm going to come down to detail. No, I'm not. I'm going to come down to effects. Don't you love when I show you that I'm human? And I'm going to go to post crop vignetting and I'm going to say amount. And I'm going to say minus. Minus is going to begin to give me that black edge. If I was going to, if I use the plus, it's going to give me a white edge. I want to go with the darker vignetted edge. Just a slight vignette though. I don't want to overdo this. That helps clear up some of the clutter that's in the background um, and just brings your focus to the hands even more. So there is all that I'm going to do with this image. It is ready to be exported, uh, printed, shared, whatever we might do. But I know um, that I might want to save this preset. And I'd particularly want to save the adjustments I've made to this preset if I took a lot of photos with the same settings um, at an event, perhaps, or, or maybe I have a habit of taking the same photos um, if with with overexposing continually, then um, I'd want to create a new preset. So if I go over here to presets, I can press on the plus and create new presets. Then um, I would give it a name, cream tone with adjustment or some other name so that you know exactly what you're doing, what that meant to you. So cream tone with vignette is what I'm going to go for. Um, and here I can check, leave everything checked so that it gets exactly everything that we went through when I was using this, or I could clear it so that it only it checks none. And then um, I would go through and say, I want the white balance to be the same. I want the basic tones to be the same. I want the vignetting to be the same. And it, or um, whatever others that I feel like. I probably would not select the um, adjustments. Oh, which I can't even. Oh, now that's changed. I did not, I, I just caught something. I don't even know, I didn't even expect to catch this. Um, in previous versions, it would actually um, let you save the crop as well and this is not which is fine because you I always unchecked that anyway because you didn't want to check the crop so one other difference um, that we've stumbled upon I want to select the folder as well I'm going to go ahead and put this in user presets and I'm going to say create so that's going to give me the vignette that's going to give me the the same edits for this photo um, on any subsequent photos that I might have 
So there you have it, quick and easy developing um, your photo using the vignette effect, using the uh, crop tool, and then finally um, applying the preset and saving your own preset. Easy breezy. In next week's video, I'm going to cover installing presets from other sources and um, we'll have a little fun searching the web for some fun presets to use in Lightroom 4. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to reading your comments. Thanks.